that's missing. Welcome aboard Freedom. Uh, it is Sunday. I've now been here since late Thursday night, and I just wanted to do a real short video on, not to get into details, but just to give you a, a real brief overview of uh, what's happened. The internet is very difficult here, so to download and upload, it's uh, just going to be uh, very, very time consuming. So I'll do a real quick video on what has happened since I left Boston. Okay, so I left Boston, uh, took Air France, direct flight right into Paris. And I will tell you one funny little tidbit. When I was getting my ticket, I kept asking the lady where my return ticket was. And although she speaks great English, she's really French. And she just kept looking at me like I had two heads. And then it dawned on me, I'm, I'm only going one way and coming back another way. So uh, that was kind of funny. And then I explained it to her and stuff. So uh, it was a great flight over, about six and a half hours, nice plane. Landed in Paris. From Paris, I took a taxi to the bus station or the train station and then had a direct uh, train ride to La Rochelle and that took probably about I'd say three and a half hours or so but it was a great uh, experience seeing the countryside and uh, the train goes about 175 miles an hour so it was really really um, great experience. So once I ended up um, Getting to La Rochelle, I had about a 10 minute cab ride, which took me downtown and to the hotel. The hotel was um, actually closed. I got there about 3.30, and you'll see in all my other videos that I do when I get home, everything closes from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock, so people go and eat, they sleep, I don't know what they do, but everything shuts down from 12 noon to 4 p.m. So I waited until about 4 p.m., checked in. Not much of a hotel, but uh, very, very clean uh, rooms, bathrooms. So, uh, and it was cheap, so it was uh, uh, okay. So I ended up meeting Thursday night with Doug, who was from Advantage Yachts in Newburyport. So he came over, and he was here for probably two or three days prior to me coming, just taking uh, possession of the boat and uh, trying to make everything as smooth as possible dealing with uh, them to the factory and to me. So um, I really, really appreciate the work uh, that Doug did coming over here. And, um, also Jack for all the work he's done getting me to this point. So uh, thanks Doug and Jack uh, for all your work and uh, it's, it's paying off. So Thursday night, we wanted to keep it really casual. Uh, obviously, I was excited to see the boat, but I didn't want to do a lot of getting into the details and parts of the boat and the mechanics of the boat and the systems of the boat. I was just, I was absolutely tired because there's a six hour time difference. So uh, Doug and I, we walked down. And by the way, every time I walk from the hotel to the marina, it's about a mile and a half. So 25 minute walk or so without carrying anything. And you'll see in future videos that every time I come down here, I'm carrying something. So uh, it's not that it's, it's, it's way out, it's just the marina is so large that with parking lots and everything, uh, it, it equates to about a mile and a half to uh, downtown. And that's where the hotel is. And it's really no closer hotel. So. Um, so I've done a lot of walking, and I gotta believe I've lost 10 pounds already. Uh, so we, uh, we came down. I got to meet Freedom, walk around her, look around her, and uh, by now it's probably eight or nine o'clock at night. And it's funny because it doesn't get dark here until 10 to 10:20, which is really really nice. But again, it comes back to uh, messing up my time clock. But and then we went out to dinner, and then we called it an early night. And I was up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, couldn't get back to sleep. I think I finally got back for about an hour. But included in my room rate is breakfast. So I got to go down and have breakfast. And uh, everything has chocolate in it. Everything. So if you're a chocolate lover, this is a great place. Muffins have chocolates. Croissants have chocolate in it. Bread has chocolate in it. So 
uh, had breakfast, and then Doug and I um, came down to the boat probably around 8 a.m., 8.30 maybe. And that's when we spent a good four hours uh, going over the systems and uh, making sure everything was working, and, uh, or at least showing me that everything was working, and going through the electronics. and uh, the, So that was good. And then we ended up taking the boat out, and we finished up getting fuel and brought the boat back. And by the time we got back, Doug actually had to head back. This was Friday, to the U.S., so he had to take the train into Paris late Friday night, and then we stayed in a hotel and then took the plane out on Saturday. So I was on my own at this point, and, um, you know, there's certainly a lot to do at this point that it allowed me to kind of just freewheel and uh, uh, get going on the to-do list to get this thing ready to go. So I'm sure for a lot of you, I'm actually up at the home station, you think that you basically, it's like a car, you jump in the car and you buy a car and you just go. Well, it's not the case with a uh, sailboat, uh, or any boat, and for that matter, especially when you're trying to cross 3,400 miles of uh, water. So, uh, on Saturday, I spent most of the day chasing down extra parts. Went to the Volvo manufacturer and picked up spare impellers fuel filters, oil filters, what else, um, fan belts, and stuff like that. So uh, that took a better part of probably four hours by the time I walked there. And again, walking time everywhere is a minimum of a half hour, two and then back. So uh, got all those parts and brought them down. And then the second half of Saturday, I was so tired, I went back and took a quick nap about a two-hour nap, got up, and again, everything closes from 12 to 4, so when it closes from 12 to 4, there's not a lot to do, so uh, so I ended up uh, sleeping, and then I got up and uh, ended up, my next uh, project is to find a lot of uh, jerry cans for bringing additional fuel, so I found a store that was basically like our West Marine in the Estates. And I picked up five five-gallon cans, uh, which will give us uh, 125 gallons of additional fuel. And what else? Um, I picked up a couple of fishing rods, picked up a couple additional lures. Um, I had kind of mahi-type tuna combo rigs. And we won't see any mahi on the way out just because of um, the temperature of the water and everything. So uh, tuna will be the primary uh, species here. And excuse me, when I go back now, I picked up five five-gallon cans of fuel, and that equals 25 gallons. Five times five is 25. But what happens is everybody's in the leader system, so that's what 100. 25 came from so it's really uh, 100 multiply it by four so it's about 100 liters of um, extra fuel there so after um, I brought everything back down it was pretty much um, probably about eight o'clock at night I hadn't eaten you really don't eat here uh, if there's one thing I'd say to anybody coming over you can't have enough euros I can't even find a place to go and exchange them at this point, my cash to euro, so I'm using my credit card for a lot of things. So, got the boat all situated with um, the, the cans and the rods, and uh, that pretty much ended my day. We were waiting for one crew member to come in uh, on Saturday night, Shane, and he actually ended up coming in very late, and he just went to a hotel. So. On Sunday, when I came down, he was here, and I got to meet Shane. So Sunday, I met Shane, uh, came down to the boat, and I was on the boat, and he happened to just come in uh, from his hotel, and we introduced each other. Shane is actually from New Jersey. He then went to Mississippi, and he's been over in Europe for a couple of months with some friends, and now he wants to go back to the States and the Boston to New York, so... Uh, He'll be coming back with us to Boston, and then he'll go from there. So, uh, 
So I still had a, I wanted to find like a store where I could get hangers and uh, just a few items. And it is so difficult to communicate with people here that I draw, I have to draw a hanger and then somebody will write the name of the hanger down, write the name of the store. And the people in my hotel have actually been the best. Uh, the girl at the front desk, she's awesome. She can speak a little bit of English, but uh, so the funny thing is I, I went into Old Town and it's probably a 20 minute walk, 25 minute walk in. And the only way you can get into Old School, uh, Old Town from where I was, was actually to pay admission to go into a um, carnival. A carnival just like we have in um, Boston or the States. So, uh, certainly not a Disney World, but it's more of like a week-long carnival. So I went through the carnival, went into Old Town, old, and um, found the store without a problem. Everybody knew the store, so I went in there, and it was like a woman's lingerie shop, or more of a woman's clothing shop. So I was saying to myself, oh no, jeez, I mean it's taken me probably an hour to get there by now from uh, doing all this. and. Like, I'm saying to myself, did she think I just wanted to come and, like, take hangers off the rack? Or uh, did she think I'd just give them to me? Or, I mean, they were all, like, lacy hangers and everything. So uh, I finally asked the woman where I could go. And uh, so she gave me another store. So I went there, and they had all the things I needed, which was good. It was more of a, almost like a CVS, uh, a real small CVS type store. So I bought them out of all the hangers and a couple other things. But, um, so then I came back and uh, brought everything down to the boat. And again, every time you do something, it's, it, it's an hour, hour and a half. And by the time I, you know, hung out with Shane a little bit, showed him the boat, wanted to make sure he knew where the lights were. And uh, we're not on power here. So it's important to, you know, I haven't turned the refrigerator on yet just to conserve you know your battery so you know I just wanted to show them um, about the boat and uh, putting lights on and then it gave me a good chance last night uh, to test all the, the running lights the nav lights the anchor light the spotlight and all that stuff so uh, it worked out good so I ended up going back at like probably 10 o'clock 10 30 and I was so hungry I hadn't eaten and as I said I guarantee I've lost 10 pounds so far so I ended up having, um, uh, there's this French ice cream, it's very famous, and it's called the Ven and Verries peanut butter cup. Yeah, Ben and Jerry's. So I had that, and then again, I tried to go to sleep, and uh, sleep has been really, really tough to, to do here. So, so that ended up um, taking me up through Sunday, and which is tonight, and I did do one blog. Um, on the first day that I was here, so you can go to www.coolchang.com and you can read that post. And uh, I will be doing another post probably tomorrow. And I'll do one more video before we leave. And then at that point, I'm sure I'm going to be uh, until we get to the Azores or uh, without internet and stuff. So. Thanks for following, and uh, I know I said I'd try to keep it short, but um, I mean, there's so much in the time I've been here, and I've left so much out, but you'll see that in my um, the long video uh, when I put it together after the trip. So uh, again, thanks for following, and um, I'll see you on my next uh, video.